Hi, my name is Josh Ott, and today I'm showing you the iPad 2 running at uh, high resolution on, a, on an external display. When you first connect the iPad 2 to an HDMI, Apple's HDMI adapter, it actually runs at 1024 by 768 and automatically kicks into this mirroring mode. Mirroring mode works on any application, and it's really fantastic. It just works. What's not cool about that is that it doesn't run at the native resolution of the high resolution display. So, the iPad's resolution is 1024 by 768. This monitor's resolution is 1920 by 1200. So, using my own application, Thicket, that I wrote with Morgan Packard, this is a beta version of Thicket, by the way, this application actually can run at a much higher resolution. So, I'm going to answer this question. I'm going to, this is asking me whether I want to mirror the display or not. So I'm going to say, no, I want a non-mirrored display, and Thicket actually automatically switches to the highest resolution that it detects over this HDMI cable. So now we're actually running at 1920 by 1200, and I'm going to post screenshots of this so you can see the actual, the actual visuals of this. Screenshots is a, is a new feature in, in our new version of Thicket, as, along with these new, this new mode that you're seeing here. Two new modes coming to Thicket. These are unfinished, by the way. So this, the other cool thing about this is that I can actually, that I can actually run an interface and do all sorts of things on the iPad while I'm still running visuals to this external display. So we can do all kinds of interesting things, like have, have interfaces and all sorts of, you know, anything we want on the iPad too, while we just display content on the on the external display. So it's really cool. It's a great it's a great thing for visualists, and this is 1920 by 1200, and it's running really nicely, really really smoothly at 60 frames per second via the iPad 2. So if you're interested in how this works, uh, and want to see some code, I'm going to post some code on CreateDigitalMotion.com, and Thicket 3 will be out soon. Hopefully, we're working on it now, finishing everything up. And thanks for watching.